go down to Rome's. So Minnesota Fine Viking center Garrett Bradbury started to pan out on some of his potential uh, last season that made him a first-round pick, number 18 overall in 2019. The Grim Reacher, he's a physical freak. Undersized, but can get to yeah make those reach blocks outside zone, get to the next level. All that stuff. But uh, the, the main issue was his anchor, right, and his pass blocking ability. And, you know, he, he did ascend last year. He became a top 10 adjacent center, uh, and the Vikings rewarded him uh, with a new three-year deal, $15.75 million, extremely economical and all that stuff. And we're like, okay, maybe Bradbury has – turned a corner it's the whole mama i can change him we just need more mass in that ass uh uh ass to grass for, with the squats man six thousand clean calories like brian o'neill died uh and we'll just go from there but so there's a video put up by d-line vids they do great work breaking things down and Speaking of breakdowns, like Garrett Bradbury just got tossed out of the club by uh, Tierra Tart, uh, the 2020 UDFA out of Florida International. And uh, what's interesting is that Tart, I, I don't know, like Tart eventually threw a punch during practice and then Bradbury wrestled him to the ground. Tart got tossed. But I don't know. Like, why did Tart punch Bradbury? Like, was he just sick of just throwing Bradbury out of the club? I, I, I don't understand this. Where. <sighs> You're starting to feel a little bit better about life, right? Where, hey, maybe the interior offensive line can get their ish together, whether it's Ezra or Bradbury or Ed Ingram. Maybe they'll turn things around. Maybe we can run the ball. Maybe Kirk won't have that quick interior pressure like he had all wild card game. Dexter Lawrence and company against the Giants. And for a second, just a, a fleeting moment, you thought that maybe – Everything's gonna be all right. Rockabye, and then you see this. <laughs> uh, we're screwed. We're, we're screwed. And of course, Kirk. Uh, you know, with the vinegar strokes from, you know, the the quarterback thing. Uh, Kirk's gonna have to invest in all the ice, which should be easy in the great state of Minnesota. Hyperbaric chambers, masseuses, masseuses for the masseuses, uh, Kairos gyros all the iros i it, it's just it's just, it's just rough man and i know quasi with his analytical mind and take a look at the offensive line from last year where kirk had a career high in sacks 46 and pressures 260 plus dalvin had a career low 4.4 yards per carry and you're hoping that the offensive line can stay healthy and quasi in his infinite wisdom, added zero goose egg. D'Angelo Russell, uh, significant outside free agents along the offensive line, and invested zero goose egg. D'Angelo Russell uh, draft picks in the O line as well. So here we are. Here, here, here we are. And I, I know that Dalton Reisner doesn't play center per se, but he can play all five spots. I uh, did play some center at the Senior Bowl back in the day. So. Sign this man. I, 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 I honestly don't care at this point. Like, if he does he want eight million bucks a year? I don't care. Pay it. J just pay it at this point because I Dios mio, where if you're a religious person, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe put one out for uh, Kirk's health and well being this year. I don't know, man. Just, I don't know. Where I understand it's an isolated play. It's a one-on-one -on -one drill. But how often is a center isolated against a defensive tackle? Uh, especially if the defensive coordinator is worth his salt. He understands that Bradbury struggles in one-on-one -on -one spots. And there are ways where you can draw attention of the guards away from Bradbury and isolate him one-on-one. -on -one. So this is just... Happy Friday. Make me feel good. All right. Anyways, uh, Bradbury gets tossed out of the club by a Titans defensive tackle. Where, I mean, he's barely a starter, too. Come on, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.